and God of the rapture. And the Lord told me, I did not give you these visions for you to be quiet. The first vision I had was I'm dreaming and I'm going up at the speed of light. And it's like when you see those rockets go up and you just see lights back and forth, like light year, like light lights, like actual lights, just fast. And in my spirit, I knew where I was going. That was dream number one. Dream number two, I was at a popular grocery store and it was at late at night and I was getting ready to get my cart and I'm getting my cart, getting ready to go into the store and out of my car. And we began to get raptured. Our body is beginning to grow, go up like a gravitational pull. I'm going up and it is very slow motion. I'm going up and I'm looking down. I can see a lot of people that are not going. I see some people that begin to look up and say, why aren't I going? And God revealed to me that those are the people that are gonna know about him because of the body of Christ telling them that this was going to happen and they didn't believe it. But when they knew the person that told them that was gone, they knew. As I'm going up, I know where I'm going and I have great comfort. You're not afraid, by the way. You have comfort in knowing where you're going and who you're finally going to get to see. But I look to my left and I look to my right and we're going up and I see to the left and to the right, I see the body of Christ. So in this spiritual battle, we think we're alone. But let me tell you, there is that remnant that is prepared and you may not see them, but in the rapture, you will get to see them. That was dream number two. Now dream number three, I was on a hill with my kids and I was looking down. So I was up high. I was somewhere high and I was looking down and I saw all the people, just people going about their day. And I said to God, and he knew in my spirit, I knew in my spirit that he was answering me. Um, I said, the way that he translated to me, let me explain this the best way that I can try to. I'm looking at these people and I knew that I wasn't better than these people. I, I knew that I wasn't, oh, so great. And these people were less than me, no. But in my spirit, I knew that God was telling me we weren't better, but we were aware. And I knew that when I was with my kids in the rapture on that hill, that we weren't together when the rapture happened. But when the rapture did happen, he put us together. And God began to pull. I felt like this gravitational pull of God's hand going like this. And as he began to pull, it was a slow gravitational pull of his hand. I said to Jesus, to God himself, but wait, what about all the unsaved souls? And that's when God, who was about to pull us up, said with his hand, he didn't speak, left us there instead. What he revealed to me in this prophetic last vision of the rapture was that we are in a grace period. God can take us in any moment, but we're in a grace period. Because I thought to myself after this dream, I said, if I knew where I was going, I knew I was going to see God. I knew I was going to see Jesus for the first time. And we believed in him for so long. I was ready. I was excited. But all I said to God was, what about all these unsaved souls? And that's when God revealed something to me. He revealed that he will come when the body of Christ, the remnant, has a heart like his. That we're not going about our day concerned about the things of this world. That we're concerned for others of their soul and where their soul is going. And then he showed me the scripture, Matthew 5, that says, A city that is on a hill cannot be hid. That revealed a lot to me because I was on a hill and we are called to be the lights of the world and being a light of, in the world means we're set apart. We're set apart and we cannot be hid and that's in the Bible. And that means that the rapture is happening by the way, whether or not you're prepared. You have two choices here, to not be prepared and you will not be going or to be prepared and care about those souls like he does, like how he died on the cross for our sins. Care, because you're the body of Christ. You're the remnant. Continue praying, seek him. Let him show you his, himself, show you the truth. And let me tell you, the rapture for the body of Christ was a very beautiful thing. God bless.